Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And in case you haven't known or heard, we do have a Patreon. At the moment, we have 573 people watching the videos over there. So you are welcome to come and join as well. And we want to thank our newest Patreons. We want to say a huge thank you to Paleo Joe and Marie. Absolutely, because all the videos go up over there without commercials as well. And it's everything we do on all the channels. We have done three videos on Hearts Home in the last three days. And if you feel like something that's uh, just positive and deeper insights into, you know, what's the difference between religion and spirituality? Really, what is the real difference? Well, go check it out. Uh, well, here we have multiple Parade goers struck after a truck drives through a Christmas parade. This is in Bakersfield, California. Uh, investigation underway. Three male individuals sustained critical injuries in the crash. Driver of the vehicle is in, in custody. Um, you know, there's been so many weird, random events. It's, it's kind of hard to sort through each one and find out what's going on. Are these people that are just having an accident of a va 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 nature, so to speak? Uh, is this having to do with all the people infiltrating the country illegally? Is this something totally different, frequency related, or are they just drunken party goers? Again, we're seeing so many random, crazy events going on. One lady was trying to set fire to Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth house, uh, just up on the porch, dowsing the whole thing with gas before she was stopped. It, it, we've seen just just bizarre things in the last couple of months. There was another woman in California that was butt naked on the highway shooting at random cars. It, is this you know, it's part of it all, the fentanyl coming over the borders, all the different uh, drugs and everything. Is, is it just the signs of a society in absolute rapid decay? Well, yeah, I mean, I look at everything as like the, the these are symptoms of a really, really, really disturbed, very ill society. And it's like the whole society as an entity, uh, as a whole, it, this is like, you know, individuals, sometimes they, they reach out or they, they react in a certain way. Well, they need help. Well, the society needs help. It absolutely does. <laughs> That's obvious. But I think also we need to kind of get ourselves and our families and loved ones as much as possible out of the way of the chaos. Israel apparently has just targeted a United Nations school in Gaza with white phosphorus munitions. That's what this tweet uh, is saying from Jackson Hinkle. And, you know, those are something that is, uh, is a no-no. These, these are not supposed to be used in any warfare, yet they are. Uh, it's just what we're watching over there, which hasn't slowed down in case you uh, missed it. This little girl was just removed from underneath a building that was taken down by rockets and fire from Israel. Remember, uh, the response that we have seen uh, to the horrible act, and again, there's a lot of people that won't take anything at face value, which, in my opinion, we should never take anything at face value. So, you know, again, we're told that there was these terrorist attacks that occurred on uh, Israeli citizens uh, by Hamas, and then the reprisal has been a uh, hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, you know, how much fold. And yet, was it what was said? You know, what, what happened? Was it really what was said that happened? Because in this world, we know there are fake banners everywhere. And we know at the very top, at the very top, all these apparently opposing forces actually work in unison. And really, they work against humanity because we, we have to not look at people as Palestinians or Israelis or, you know, whatever the, it is, Russian, Chinese, uh, you know, American. We need to start looking at each other as just simply people here that are part of a bigger whole. We're all I individual people. 
individual aspects of the source having a unique perspective through a, a, a unique lens and that's a beautiful thing it's the arbitrary because it is arbitrary in so many ways these borders that we see around the globe they're they're always changing countries come countries go sometimes they're resurrected after 1900 years for political purposes and purposes of agendas uh, U.S. issues the strongest criticism of Israel yet as civilian deaths in Gaza surge. Eighty-five percent of Gaza's population are now basically homeless and got nowhere to go. You're talking uh, close to two million people have been totally uprooted. This is just enormous what's happened. This, this is, again... Uh, just like what happened to the people that were in place when, Giz when Israel was recreated in 1948. Everybody that's, you know, not part of the plan, you got to go. You got to get going. They just, they're forcing them out. Forcing them out. We see mass migrations on a huge scale right now. Now, these migrations have happened in the past. As you see an airplane coming in for a landing at Ben Gurion Airport, as you have newly unveiled M90 rockets by Hamas flying by in Tel Aviv. You know, these mass migrations are a tool that the power structure utilizes in, in many ages. This is just what they do all throughout time. And it's over and over again. Um, if we're able to get this up on Brightian, we've been kind of shadow banned on Brightian. Um, big time. I haven't been able to upload to Brightian today. Uh, just to let you know, you know, there is this compartmentalization that happens. Uh, and while, you know, Brightian has been a great place to talk about things in the medical field, and you can see here 37 views, 27 views, 67 views, 45 views. And then, you know, we get up into the hundreds, and we've had uh, 469, 255. We, we've had, you know, videos with thousands of views, but now I, every time I go to upload, uh, nothing happens. <laughs> it won't let me upload. And and this type of thing has happened on Brightian before with um, the more spiritual videos, like the one, you know, what's the difference between religion and spirituality? And, you know, it won't let me upload certain ones uh, often, or it might take five, ten times. And you could see here, Prophecy Club, you know, because they utilize certain channels. Here on Brightian, you will get whatever you want to get to hear, pretty much, uh, when it comes to the medical system, blood clots, heart attacks, uh, myocarditis. That's okay here, but don't break the religious paradigm here. And is, is that um, really the founder of Brightian? I don't think so. No, I think this is how the control system controls uh, everything. It's, it's keeping us segmented. So one segment of society can understand something that's a truth that they don't really want all of us knowing. But other segments, won't. they don't want them knowing something else. Uh, and so, you know, again, there's this religious compartmentalization uh, in some areas. Uh, some areas, it's, it has to do with the medical system. In some areas, different things. Um, but, you know, uh, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys because we've noticed that, that before. And, you know, uh, again, when... When you go up against the system, they'll allow certain things, but they won't let you, sh you know, show the totality of how the system really, really works without clamping down on you big time. And we're really feeling that big clamping down right now. As you see, over half a million migrants caught at the southern border since October, not including gotaways. Now, this is caught. How many are they actually catching compared to how many are getting through? Double that might get through. I mean, they might only be catching 10% of what, what is coming. Do you, re you recognize the scope of this? This is enormous. This is huge. This is the biggest invasion we have ever heard of in history. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty big, and uh, it's just growing and, and moving forward, you know. And 
uh, we're trying to get the information out there as best as we can, but there's those four pillars, and if you go against one of them, you know, or you might be able to go against one, but there's that one that they they uphold. Um, but this is something that I'm seeing that I'm finding some concern in because it is growing for sure. I mean, there's there's like I think they try to hide it for a little ways, and for all the the you know people that are supposedly in charge. No one can stop this. No one is doing anything about it. Um, they're just opening the doors. So whether it be the left, whether it be the right, no, they're both left and right are holding the doors open. There might be some people who are boisterous saying, oh, it's wrong, but that doesn't matter. Just stating that it's wrong doesn't help anything. And I think that's where we're at. We point things out or the mainstream will point things out, but there's no resolution. So what's the purpose of pointing it out other than to just really frustrate people and get people angry at each other. Absolutely. So Sheriff Mark Lamb says Biden's giving money to NGOs, non-governmental organizations. Typically, they're they're organized as a uh, typically in order to um, utilize things like religious exemptions from taxation and all and this is why in some areas we'll have more churches and people um, that are actually just fronts there's so many businesses that are nothing but fronts they are nothing but fronts uh, when we were doing a video recently talking about some of the richest pastors in the world and uh, we're finding a whole bunch of them all of a sudden springing up in africa Oh, it, it feels like, you know, what, what do we really got going on here? We got money laundering. We have, you know, financing for the uh, MIC. And, you know, they're utilizing uh, these religious organizations for tax exemptions and also as a cover because, hey, you know, uh, they're, they're working to spread the word, so to speak. Yeah, what word are they really spreading? This is where, you know, everything is upside down in this world. As you see, Lukeville, Arizona, there's the, the cartels are openly helping this. And who else is? Governmental agencies. People are being told, you can't be here, get out of the way. And then all of a sudden, you know, a couple hundred uh, males, military age, coming in from countries that are recently aligned, or maybe not so recently, but are aligned with the BRICS nations, Russia and China, militarily coming in and who's letting them in our own governments are our own governments are letting them in because it's part of a bigger plan the governments the countries again i keep slipping and saying countries i keep wanting to say companies because companies are closer to the truth as you know usa is usa inc and it's the same thing you know the Vatican is its own entity. London is its own entity. D.C. is its own entity. You know, these institutions are above the law. And these corporations, when they get outed, like when Monsanto has to pay out so much or Bayer, and, and, and you might see P.F. Iser and Moderna and others be dissolved in, in the relatively near future. It doesn't matter because nothing's really going to happen to the ones that were manipulating behind the scenes. They just will start new companies. And they already have started new companies. They start shell companies all the time. We were talking about shell com companies in last night's video, seashells. There's an explosion in the seashells. Islands, massive explosion. Causes damage two and a half miles away from the explosion. That's huge. What are they doing? They're, they're covering up evidence of these shell companies that are probably tied to names that we hear every single day and this is why there's censorship because you know the ones that are censoring us are the same ones that are committing these crimes that's the bottom line as you see u.s disability data for november up 299,000 for population 16 and over and 199,000 for civilian labor force 16 and over you know, again, morbidity leads mortality. Yeah, a lot of people are very ill, very sick at this time. And, and is there any reason to wonder why? But the experts are saying heart attack risk is, is increasing because heat waves are going to be intensifying due to climate change. Ah, yes, the World Meteorological Organization 
Senior extreme heat expert has warned of the heart attack risks as heat waves intensify due to climate change. It has nothing to do with the blood clots that are forming in people's bodies due to other things that the power structure has recommended. No, no. It's going to be the heat waves caused by cow's farts. Or maybe you left, uh, you know, the stove on too long. Or maybe you went a mile too far in your car. How is carbon dioxide a pollutant when it's used for plant growth? CO2 is essential to life on this planet. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if carbon dioxide is so bad for the planet, why do greenhouse growers buy CO2 generators to double plant growth? Because plants take in what we expel. And here's Mike Adams, the health ranger, you know, again, the founder of Brightian. Uh, you know, on certain ones, again, we could speak about certain things. On certain other ones, they're compartmentalized again. So, you know, this compartmentalization is is basically the rule of law in, in the alphabet soups. That way, nobody knows exactly what's going on. Nobody has the real big picture except those at the very, very top. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, people are told to do their part and... And they do, you know, and and here we are, we're trying to get all of the information out there, explain the control issues with all four pillars. And believe me, you, they do not want that out. No, absolutely. Thousands of tons of dead fish wash up on the beach. Nobody knows why this is in Japan. Do you think it might have anything to do with either technology or Fukushima, which again, Fukushima is a a major disaster on the planet, but it could also be other technologies in play. Uh, There's all sorts of different sonar and all sorts of weapons of war that we will be introduced to in the coming period of time that use different forms of of energy as a weapon. Locas swarming skies in Mexico, leaving people fearing the world is ending well, yeah, you get locust plagues everywhere at different times, pretty much. I mean, it, it's rather common, but we do see all sorts of things attacking the food supply. As, as you see, the leaves of fruit trees in their back gardens licked clean, chewed on lemons, oranges, and uh, other, yeah. This is all an attack, obviously, on the food supply. It's not very hard to release locusts. Uh, After all, they've released millions of GMO mosquitoes from planes. They've told us they have done this. It was this guy. This guy, Gil Bates. Mm -hmm. This guy that went to Epstein, you know, that not that Gilligan's Island. I said that word 36 times, but he doesn't know why. I I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know why. You know, 36 times, three dozen times, no clue. Why should we listen to him for anything then if he can't remember something that he did three, 36 times? Do you know that he bought Bragg's, you, you know, Bragg's apple cider vinegar? Uh, obviously, he will be changing the recipes, so you m- probably don't want to use Bragg's anymore. That's been one of the most trusted names for for so long, and this is exactly what happens. Read your labels all the time. Always read your labels. And there's many, many, many different, you know, uh, websites out there, YouTube channels on how to make your own apple cider vinegar. And I've heard from people who are just so wonderful and sharing some of that information with me. And I can tell you that, that what they're telling me, I haven't tried it yet, but it's so, so much easier than what we thought. So I think we really do need to step out and, and just start making our own apple cider vinegar because we know where this stuff is sourced. Yeah, the reality is, you know, for people living in the cities, that's just not going to be a possibility for them. And, and it's really uh, sad because, again, as you're if you're reading what's what's being said there on Rogan's um, show, you know, the appeal and the organic appeal, every single way they could possibly make it a little more toxic, they are making it a little more toxic. They just think we're so stupid we can't figure it out. And they're going to keep shoving us a plate of this in front of our face. 58% can see a future where bugs replace beef. Well, you know, again, I don't trust any numbers they give us on any surveys. But unfortunately, there are a lot of sleepwalking zombies in this world. So we got to keep trying to splash cold water in the face. And here you go. Giant billboards sprung up across Ghana 
publicizing a masked man widely expected to run for president next year's election. They don't know who he is, but he is he's the buzz of the town. But the reality is, even if we see faces that we recognize, the real leaders are masks and, and they are hiding in the shadows. I, I do think this is most appropriate, though, for, for all the leadership. It's like they could all just play musical masks to the left, to the right. It doesn't really matter. You know, uh, Gil Bates, Musk, anybody, Trump, you name them. They could just switch their masks around and they just have a part to play. So I think this is kind of funny. Just think back to all the photos you've seen of a Barrio, Michael, Michael kissing George on the cheek and loving on George big time and 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 George senior and the Clintons you know they're all such buddies you know they'll they'll just put the act on like they're throwing the gauntlet down and attacking the other one because they're on the wrong side and we're on the right side the reality is they're all on the same side definitely that is the the true reality and it's all an illusion it's a complete illusion. It might surprise some people. There's a lot of things out there that might surprise you. <laughs> this is a really cute one. I mean, this little guy, what is he thinking? But he's he's an acrobat. What if Satan, right, played like he was God, and then that way he gets you coming and going? That's right. Well, that that is exactly what they've done, too. Because they've usurped everything, and you could see, you know, words have been changed here and there. Uh, you know, things have been erased and wiped from our history. Everything is an illusion. Uh, it's all been really a, a bunch of lies. It's a house of cards that is collapsing on itself. So we need to make sure that we're not under that collapse. Oh boy, we we really have to take care of ourselves now. Again, guys, thank you for your support. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.